Hey guys, my name is Gar Blue Moon, and welcome to the Amnesia Custom Story in Lucy's Eyes. I just heard about, like, I didn't really hear about it from anyone. I was just looking at uh, Indie, Indie slash ModDB, and was looking at like what I could possibly play, and I saw this, and I've never heard of it before, so I wanted to give it a try. Well, <laughs> that kind of looks kind of creepy. But, you know, I, I've always wanted to play Amnesia for my channel, like all the way back to like two years when I first did. Well, my first attempt at YouTube, but you know, might as well try now. I still want to play. I, oh. I thought he was mad. I thought I could help him. All those ominous imaginings. What were they? Hmm? Anna. She warned me. She had seen that thing. Seen it in Lucy. She told me about the emptiness and reluctance in her eyes. Why did I not dare to see for myself? Where did they go? Lucy, my darling. Where did Mummy take you? Why didn't she tell me about this? Was she taking you home? Taking you to safety? It was on the road leading away from the castle. During my desperate search for my family, that I heard it. That voice. The inviting familiarity struck my mind. I was on the wrong track. They had not fled the castle. I know where they are now. What's going on? Can't see a thing. That's the moon. <laughs> I'm apparently so drunk that I see multiple moons. Oh. <sighs> Slightly better. It's pretty dark though. Oh, from um, what I could see though. Um, there is no lantern in this custom story. Instead, you have to use matches to the best of your ability. So, this would be actually pretty interesting. Because I've never played a custom story without a lantern. What do I have hints on? Let me make sure that's off. Sorry, guys. Got a note. Or a momentum. Okay. The bridge leading back to the castle is broken. I need to find a way to cross it. Possibly find. Oh, that that doesn't look right. But okay. Oh, what? Did someone just whack me with a shovel. I don't know if I should go in the water. <sighs> Might be a little too dark. Brighten it up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I definitely couldn't see a thing. <laughs> Alright. Moving forward. Uh, there's gotta be something around here, right? Logs? Use the logs? I think I could. Building. Oh, no. 20th of March, 1836. Bizarre things have been begun happening ever since the Baron's wife took her own life. I can see the unusually frequent storms tearing down the great walls of this old castle day by day. And some of the people are heading towards the village. When I question their decision, they give me a look filled with something I can't quite understand. Strange things started to happen. Oh, as soon as things started happening, both the castle and Baron, they say, soon there won't be any reason for me to keep guarding the bridge if the whole citadel is abandoned by its inhabitants and workers. Alright. Let's check here. 
take that candle with me. Uh, oh, okay. Whoa. Can I go up here? Uh, yeah. I got a box. Is there anything of use up here? Some boxes. Shield. There's gotta be something of note up here. there be? You know, you only put a ladder in the script so you can move up and down it. You have nothing, you know, to go up and find. Let's see. There's gotta be something. How can I cross the bridge? Oh, could I have just used these? I would... <laughs> I have passed these by so many times, and I would be very upset if I just needed these. I thought I could have just like grabbed one of those ladders for like the longest time. But okay, moving forward. Let's see if this works. What does it even say? Baleshire Castle, okay. Going to Baleshire Castle. I hope this is how it works because, <laughs> like, usually some things are pretty self explanatory when you first start a custom story, but this is a little different. I would have not known I could pick these up when I tried using everything else. Then again, they do kind of stand out from everything. <laughs> they look more like just big metal planks instead of just like your normal, typical wood you see in custom stories and pretty much the base game as well. Also, they don't like attach themselves to whatever you want, you're trying to put them down. Oh, now they do. Alright. Do, do, I, do I seriously need more? Okay. Well, that's my first criticism. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to just keep running back and forth. It's hard to say. I know this story is going to be good, though. This story was given in 8.8. .8. It's got to be like that for a reason, so... Oh. Wait! Okay. Can, can I just jump it? Can I just jump... Okay. That worked. <laughs> Excuse me for trying to get me, you know, more planks. I definitely wouldn't be able to see. A problem with, um, you know, trying to use face rig is I need lighting. So it's like impossible to play games like this in the dark without face rig. You could just go without face rig, but I'm already kind of—it's already my staple at the moment. Uh, where are we going? Where do we go? Anything around here? Hello, Chammer? Van Hammer, covered in blood. Is there anything useful here? I haven't found a single item I can pick up besides a note. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna move on. Hopefully I can just enter. <laughs> I hope there's not gonna be like a fetch quest for a key out here. Excuse you. I don't know if anyone played uh, White, White Knight. Yeah, that's it, White Knight. Not the custom story for Amnesia, but White Knight, the uh, horror game by that was published by Activision pretty recently, like back in March. It took me forever to find the key just to enter the house. Okay. Baron. Oh. Well, already looking better than I thought we would. Uh, oh. Oh! Okay. This is custom music, isn't it? I want to say it is. <laughs> Thank you for that logo.
Am I awake? Oh, there we go. leading to Lucy. Okay, so am I the guy that was talking, you know, earlier during the introduction? Because I don't know, sometimes, like, they'll have, um, like, a character speak. It's, like, just a, someone that the protagonist knows. Or just somehow relating to the story. Can I have this? Nope, of course not. It's alright, I want to be very thorough in case I miss something. nothing around here. Alright. That's closed off by more metal planks of, of whatever that... I'm... Like, <laughs> it feels really weird to see metal planks in a, you know, castle. I'm so used to just seeing, you know, doors blocked up by wood in this game. Loading guest rooms. Wow, is there like a custom picture for every room in this game? This custom story? Because, I mean, like, it definitely looks like a little kid drew it. Kind of creepy. Oh, it has the light. It's like tick tock. Alright. Oh, oh, it's showing me the matches. A matchbox. This could come in handy. Okay, so I do have a voice. One match lot. Great. So, so much for a whole box just having two matches. What's on my arm? This is Lucy something. This is Lucy. I can't tell. Okay, those don't last long. Good to know. Apple. Try this beer. This is not creepy at all. Oh god. Oh, the sound of. I, I can tell the the, the uh, developer of this spent a lot of time on the uh, sound effects, just because of you know, they're actually coming from the windows. They're not just echoing throughout the entire room. Let's see, papers. Was there nothing really else here but matches? This is a book. Here's a book. Through the book. Where are you going? It definitely feels more like, like whoever, uh, I forget, I already forget what, what they call themselves, it was red something, but um, apologies for not you know, remembering who made the game, but they seem to have made it like, like a real place, like it's not how uh, most thing, like most, in most custom stories, there's usually very specific rooms that have you know I just um, items progressing in a similar fashion. There's a note the though. The journey here was long, but not at all a bore. I had never seen such beautiful natural vistas. Truly, this land has remained untouched by time and progress. I can only imagine what wonders lay hidden in the deep, unexplored reaches of these forests. We stopped briefly in a village on the way. And were treated with hospitality, although I felt as though we were not entirely welcome there. Speaking with the local people, one gets the idea that this region is haunted. They speak of a great massacre that occurred within recent memory. That, as far as I can tell, ended when a special sacrifice was made. How macabre. They are rather strange, the whole lot of them. They rarely leave their homes, and do not seem eager to speak with outsiders. I wonder what they are so fearful of. David tells me that in small rural communities, superstitions tend to be a strong part of cultural identity, and assures me that they are just carrying on the same way their ancestors have for centuries. But I'm not entirely certain. Interesting. Oh, that's a cool locket. Um... Alright. 
probably shouldn't have used that, but I want to actually see what's going on. Oh. Someone at the door? Here's something. Knocking around. <laughs> I'm actually kind of terrified. Uh, okay, sofa. Want to see where I'm going here? Anything around here? I'm, I'm already doing a terrible job at managing my matches, <laughs> but I can't see a thing. I want to just up, you know, increase the gamma a little bit so I can actually see better. It's not doing me many favors. Is. This, this is a wa lot like White Knight, now that I think of it. it. Like, it looks like a real place that you would actually, you know, live in. With just matchboxes laid everywhere. I wonder if that was just, you know, for difficulty. To make you more afraid of, you know, losing resources. I mean, generally people do run out of oil anyway. And if I remember correctly, I think there are custom monsters in this. So I'm really eager to see what we can find. This door's slightly open. Kinda gassy in here. Oh. oh god. What did I just get myself into? Door slam shut in the ears. Oh no. Oh no. Can I have those can I have those matches please? How do I get out? Yeah, god. Ah, uh, well, it's already giving me a heart attack already, but okay, got some wad on him. Is that how you say it? Please tell me that's how you say it. How do I get out? <laughs> how do I get out? Gotta be away. Or oh, sanity potion. Looks weak and rusty. Can I break it? Can I use that sledgehammer I saw. All right. God, this is heavy. Okay. Being very slow. But break it. Oh, you're kidding. You're kidding. <laughs> Come on. Open the door. All right. There's gotta be some way. There's gotta be some. How's my health? I am wounded quite bad. Okay, if I get, if I start seeing, if I start bleeding out my eyes, then I know that's when I'm gonna have to heal. <coughs> how do I get out of here? Nah, I'm already getting to that point. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know. Oh God. Okay. Is there something I can? Uh, what do I do? What do I? What can I do here? What can I do? What could I possibly do to open this door back up? Object's not strong. Okay, so I gotta aim for the hinges. <coughs> Is that it? Nope. This isn't how you do it. I don't know how else to do it. There we go. Okay, so I gotta aim for those. Can I? Oh, come on! It's. I'm trying to hit it. Can I smack it? Okay. That could. That could have been a lot e more simple. <laughs> oh God. Okay. <sighs> okay. I. <laughs> I'm probably gonna need to end it right there. It's just this, you know. Let it sink in how bad I am <laughs> with this custom story so far. But. Oh. Hopefully it got onto a better foot next time. So, <laughs> thank you for watching. Like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.